Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about converting polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. If you look on this slide right here, we can see that there's two different formulas. So if we're going from polar to rectangular, we have these formulas right here. And if we're going from rectangular to polar, we have these formulas right here. And this should say y over x. So what we're going to do is take something in polar form or rectangular form and convert it to the other. And it's pretty simple because we have these super basic formulas and we just essentially use the calculator. Now before we do that, I just want to make sure we understand what is the difference between rectangular and polar. So a rectangular coordinate is what you have seen probably for a really long time. That's your xy coordinate. A polar coordinate is what you should have learned if you've watched the first video on the basics of polar coordinates. That's represented by r theta. r represents your directed distance and theta represents your angle. So what we're trying to do is take the coordinate 4, 12 degrees, so 4 is our directed distance and 12 degrees is our angle, and we're trying to convert that into rectangular. So here's what we're doing. We first observe that we're given something in polar form because it has a degree symbol that's kind of our key or if it had radians. Our goal is to convert this, so r theta, into something that's xy form and then our game plan for doing that is to use this formula. Our x coordinate is going to be represented by r cosine theta and our y by r sine theta. So then when we go to solve this, it's super simple. We just plug everything in. So x is going to be 4 cosine 12, y is going to be 4 sine 12, and then we just use our calculators. Make sure when you're using your calculators that you are in the correct mode, so you need to make sure that your mode is in degrees or you'll get this wrong. So we do 4 cosine 12, which gives us approximately, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, 3.9, and then we do 4 sine 12, which gives us approximately 0.8 approximately 0.8 so our coordinate is 3.9 comma 0.8 if we are in rectangular form if you wanted to check that real quick we could plot both of these on kind of the same plane just to make sure they're in the same direction so 3.9.8 is about right here and then if I had my little rings and I was plotting my polar coordinates. That's terrible drawing. <laughs> Something similar to that, but obviously a lot better. 12 degrees is in the first quadrant and it's pretty low. And then that would be about four. So we can kind of check it that way. Just make sure that it's in the same location. So this is it. That's how you take a polar coordinate and convert it to rectangular. Now let's go the other direction. So let's say we're given a rectangular coordinate of negative one, one, and we're trying to put that in polar coordinate form. I also want to make sure a couple things just give you some restrictions so that if you come across these restrictions you know how to deal with them. We want to make sure that our r and theta are positive and that our theta is in radians. So we're going to go through and we're going to we're given polar or yeah we're given polar form. We want to that should say rectangular form. That's what I get for copying and pasting. Rectangular form and we're trying to convert something that is in xy form into polar form, so our r theta. And we're going to use these formulas to do that. So we're going to say that r is equal to the square root of negative 1 squared plus 1 squared, which will be square root of 2. And then our theta is going to be equal to the tangent inverse of, this should say y over x, of y which is 1 over negative 1, which is going to give us negative 45 when we plug it in the calculator. So we do that if we do tan inverse of negative 1, we should get a negative 45 degrees. Now we had a couple restrictions, so right now I'm going to write down what we have. Right now this is what we have. These are our polar coordinates, but we wanted theta and r to be positive, so r is positive but theta is not and we wanted theta and radians. So negative 45, if I want to find its coterminal angle, so if I want to figure out where it's positive and less than 360, I'd take 360 minus 45, 
that gives me 315 degrees. Then to figure out its radian measure, I do 315 times pi over 180, and that gives me 315 divided by 180 gives me 7 fourths, so this would be 7 pi fourths. So my polar coordinate is rad 2, 7 pi fourths. My r and theta are both positive, and my theta is in radians. So if you guys have any questions about this, or if there was something that didn't make sense, make sure to leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond and help clarify anything. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you want to get better at math, subscribe to my videos here. If you want more information on math, click on my website link here.